The OnePlus 7 Pro was named the best smartphone overall for 2019 by a number of different tech publishers and remains a very relevant and powerful phone in 2020. At its current price, it's a great pickup for anyone looking for a flagship device without the brand new flagship price tag. In this video, I'll be showing you how I set up my OnePlus 7 Pro for day-to-day -day use as well as some tips and tricks for more efficient use. First and foremost, I replaced the default OnePlus launcher with Evi Launcher. This is a free lightweight launcher that you can download in the Google Play Store. I'll leave a link in the description. Nova Launcher is another popular launcher for Android, but I prefer the simplicity and clean look of Evi Launcher. Once Evi Launcher is set as your default launcher, you can long press anywhere on your home screen to access your widgets, wallpapers, and launcher settings. I'll leave a link to this wallpaper in the background, though as a quick disclaimer, the app I got it from, Z Edge, has tons of annoying ads. I personally don't use any widgets because I like a clean, minimal home screen, but you can easily access and place all of your widgets from here. I keep my six most used apps at the bottom. This is done in the EV Launcher home screen settings by setting the number of columns to six. Then I set the number of rows to the maximum and scale my icon size to 50. I also uncheck the show app drawer hint option to make the home screen as minimalistic as possible. This is also the menu where you can enable or disable the Google search bar. I keep it disabled, as well as turn the Evi news feed on or off. I prefer to keep it off. The gesture setting within the Evi launcher allows you to set up custom gestures to do things such as launching apps, expanding your notifications, or locking your screen. The main gesture I use is double tapping the screen to launch my camera app, which is really helpful for pulling up my camera fast when I need to take a picture or video of something very quickly. Evi Launcher gives you two layout options for accessing your apps when you swipe up. My preferred format is the alphabetical list with the side scroller, though some may prefer the grid layout. You can switch easily between both of them by selecting the corresponding icon in the top right corner. Moving into the phone settings, I am using the default Android 10 Oxygen OS. In security settings for unlocking my device, I have the in-screen fingerprint scanner set up to recognize both of my thumbs. I also have a pin set up in case the screen is wet and my thumbs don't register. I have face unlock turned off as it uses the motorized front-facing camera and it can get annoying to listen to it pop up every time I want to unlock my phone. In the navigation bar and gesture setting, I have navigation gestures left and right selected and I've opted to hide the bottom bar for a cleaner look. This navigation setting does take some getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually quite nice and intuitive. I do not have any of the quick gestures set up or on. There's nothing really special about my sound settings. Most remain on the default settings aside from having touch vibration turned on. The haptic feedback on the OnePlus 7 Pro is very subtle and very satisfying. The Dolby Atmos settings are set to dynamic, so my audio will automatically optimize based on what I'm doing on my phone. I personally choose to use all of the default notification chimes as well as the default OnePlus ringtone, though there are plenty of options to choose from if you don't like the defaults. In the customization settings, I have a custom wallpaper that once again I'll link to in the description below. I use the ripple effect for the fingerprint animation effect, and I have the default lock screen clock selected. Lastly, I have the gold horizon light selected as well. I use the dark mode tone and my accent color is the OnePlus Red. I prefer round icon shapes and usually use the default icon pack, though I do like to switch to the viral icon pack from time to time when it matches my current background. This icon pack is free and can be downloaded in the Google Play Store. I'll leave a link in the description. Lastly, my font is set to the OnePlus Never Settle font option. For my display settings, I have adaptive brightness turned off since I like a crisp, bright screen all the time. My screen calibration is set to vivid as I think it looks better on a bright screen. And my resolution is set to auto switch for the sake of saving battery when I'm doing things that shouldn't require QHD+, such as just reading an article. My screen refresh rate is set to 90Hz all the time because it looks great and it's a really nice feature of the OnePlus 7 Pro. 
I don't have night mode turned on because again, I like a bright vivid screen all the time and night mode is not to be confused with dark mode. Night mode is the phone setting that reduces the amount of blue light that comes through your screen. My ambient display is set to turn on only when the screen is tapped. My font size is default and my status bar is set to show the battery in a circle and without the percentage next to it. I find that watching my battery percentage slowly drop stresses me out throughout the day. And I keep auto rotate screen off most of the time because I find it annoying. And lastly, I don't use a screensaver. Despite keeping my brightness high most of the day, I can easily get a day and a half to two days of use out of the battery, which equates to 12 plus hours of screen on time for me. I hope you enjoyed this video or at least found it useful. If you did, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing for more content. Thanks for watching. Peace.